Hello everyone, this is Professor Nelson from Electronics. Today we're going to talk about a very important and widely used component in electronic boards. I'm talking about the optocoupler. This small component is quite common in electronic boards as it can perform different tasks. For example, on this electronic board, it performs the task of activating these relays. This electronic board is a power module, which allows you to turn a motor, a lamp, or a whole piece of equipment on and off. Therefore, the optocoupler is very important on this electronic board. You'll also find it in power supplies, as we can see here. This is the same optocoupler, and it's responsible for separating the high voltage from the low voltage. And thanks to it, the electronic board can function without any problems. In this way, an optocoupler can perform different tasks. And in this video, we're going to learn what you can do with this component. So, without further ado, let's continue with the video. But first, a big hello to all my subscribers, those who comment, and those who share the videos, and a special shout out to channel member Chris. Chris, thank you for your support, seriously thank you very much. And if you're not a member yet, you can become one in the members section. So, without further ado, let's get on with the video. Alright, now let's explain how an optocoupler works. Inside this package, we have two separate components, as you can see here. On one side, we have an LED, like this one. And on the other side, in this case, we have a BJT transistor, which only has two terminals, the collector and the emitter. That is, it's like this BJT transistor, but only has two pins. The base is exposed directly to the light from the LED. This means that the transistor will be activated by the light emitted by this LED. And depending on the amount of light emitted by the LED, this transistor can function as an electronic switch or as a variable resistor. But keep in mind that there are more than just optotransistors. There are also other types of optocouplers. That is, on this side we can have other components. For example, a logic gate or a triac. And on this side, we'll have at least one LED. And in some cases, two LEDs. This is how an optocoupler works. However, we need to confirm that we have two separate components here and that the transistor works with the light from the LED. To do this, we need to remove part of the optotransistor's package. Great, we've just removed the package from our optotransistor. As you can see, the package is gone, and we can observe what's inside the optocoupler. Now, we're going to see how the transistor is working, and if it really does work based on light. To do this, we'll set our multimeter to ohms on the megohm scale. Connect the negative lead to the emitter and the positive terminal to the collector. As you can see, it reads 1.5 megohms. However, observe the following. As you can see, the darker it is, the greater the resistance. That is, the optotransistor is currently working as a variable resistor.
However, we can also use the infrared light from a remote control. Let's see how much the resistance drops with the light from this remote control. As you can see, it drops quite a bit. It drops to a value below 1 megam. However, 600 kilohms is a very large value. That is, we wouldn't be able to see that signal with an LED. Therefore, we're going to make a circuit that can improve this signal. All right, now we're going to explain how this circuit works, which will allow us to observe the signal that the opto transistor delivers. Remember that between the collector and emitter of the opto transistor, there is a variation in resistance depending on the light that falls on its base. But remember that this resistance is very high, so large that it only allows a very small amount of current to pass through. That current isn't enough to light an LED. Therefore, we need a way to increase that current. And how do we do that? By using a PNP transistor. In this case, we are using the BC557. However, you can use any other PNP transistor. Now, how would the transistor be connected? The emitter would have to be connected directly to positive. In this case, we're using 12 volts. As for the collector, the LED would have to be connected there along with its protection resistor to negative. Now, what other components do we have? Well, we have a fairly large resistor, one of 100 kilohms. And what is it for? This resistor is used to keep the LED off when there is no signal. And how does it do this? Well, in the following way. Here we can see that the resistor is connected to the base, and from there it is connected to the positive terminal. And remember that we are using a PNP transistor, which needs a negative signal at the base to function. Therefore, by delivering a positive signal to the base, the transistor will not work. Therefore, the only way for this transistor to work is with the signal from the opto transistor. Because when it is activated, a small negative signal passes through, which will replace that positive signal activating the transistor and turning on our LED. In this way, our circuit will amplify the signal from the opto transistor, as long as it delivers very little current. All right, guys, this is how this circuit works. Now we need to assemble it and see how it works in practice. Okay, guys, we've assembled our circuit. Here we have the opto transistor. The resistance towards the base of the BGT transistor. The resistor along with the LED and the 100 kilo ohm resistor. Don't forget that the LED and the 1 kilo ohm resistor are connected to the negative terminal of the power supply and that the emitter of our transistor is connected to the positive terminal of the power supply. Remember that we are using a PNP transistor. All right, let's power our circuit with 12 volts. Now let's see if it works with our remote control. As you can see, it works. And you can use other types of remote controls in the same way. Well, some will work better than others. All right. In this way, we confirm that the opto transistor works depending on the light that falls on it and that it works much better with the infrared light emitted by remote controls. Well guys, 
that's how the video ends. Now, don't forget that if you like the video, a like really helps the channel. See you in the next video. Bye bye.